Okay, good afternoon, girl. Here are the animal girls. <laughs> We're here today, and this is my dear friend, Charlene, uh, and she's been so generous to come out here to my home and talk about her journey and um, just, um, yeah, her weight loss journey. Yeah, so um, <laughs> thank you, Charlene. So today, Charlene, I've known Charlene since uh, when she had her stroke. She had a stroke not long after she had her third child. And I was a physical therapist then. And so we did some therapy together. She's had a lot of therapists, a lot of therapy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but uh, she's going to tell you the story about how we reconnected, which we've kind of always been connected. But if you don't know her story about the stroke and you know sh she's speaking somewhere, make sure you go to hear that. Or if you need a speaker, she's, mm. she does a great, great job with that. Hey, Hope, I'm glad you're watching. Say a little prayer for us that we get the right information out. So the reason I do these videos is there's somebody out there like Charlene <laughs> was that needs to hear it. And you know, somebody else's story, Charlene's story could touch someone that I can't touch with my story. And so um, when she came up with her animal print, I said, I'm gonna go get my animal print. <laughs> so when people are scrolling through, they'll be able to see us and they'll stop and say, what are those two crazy ladies <laughs> doing? But we've had a good time in there. I baked up some pound cakes. And so I'm gonna show you that maybe tonight, how that went. But Okay, Charlene, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell them kind of sh what what happened before with you and your and trying to lose weight and what happened since we met. Kind of okay. how, how it happened that you came into the program. Okay. Well, if people knew me um, years ago, way before my stroke, they would probably tell you that I never had a weight loss problem. I mean, a weight problem. Right. Um, in fact, when I graduated from high school, I was 90 pounds. Wow. And I think the weight started coming on after the stroke. Yeah. Um, I was on extremely high doses of steroids for yeah. a long, long yeah. time. Yeah. And then the inability to move and just get, um, just move around. Yeah. Um, I was in the wheelchair for, for so long. And so the weight just started coming on. And I tried uh, so many different things just on my own. Um, I would listen to friends and I would try things that they told me to do and um, just nothing was getting the weight off. Nothing was. And, and what it did to me um, emotionally and physically and mentally was, was, was awful. It was terrible. Yeah. Um, I say it's a heavy burden to bear, literally, and really physically is. and emotionally. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And you think that you can do it on your own, but I'm, I'm here today because you can't. You can't. Yeah. Um, first of all, you, you've got to, you've got to have help. And mm -hmm. I had to get to the point that when I was so sick, I relied on God for my, yeah, for my yeah. help. Yeah, physically, and so I had to get to a point that I had to rely on Him for even this. Yeah. This is important. He needed yeah. to help me. Yeah, right. That's kind of how I was too. I had tried everything, and I just prayed. I'm like, God, I know, I know that you can help me. And it was me letting go, kind of surrendering and, and just saying, okay. And he made a way, you know, that Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge him and he will make a straight path. And I've had so many people tell me that, you know, they ran into me and they said, I, I was needing some help. And there you were, Sandra, who Sandra Tool. So it was your mm -hmm. example, but she ran into me in the doctor's office and she said, she said, I had your name on my note to call you because I needed help. Mm -hmm. And so, so tell about the Sandra story. Well, I don't even remember why I was there, but I had to run by the funeral home one day and I had not seen Sandra in a couple of months. And all of a sudden she walked out of her office and I was like, <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> you look amazing. Yeah. And she said, and she just started giving God all the glory right yeah. then and there. Yeah. And then yeah. she said, she told me about you, Nancy. Yeah. And then I thought, wow. And then it was like God just kept opening doors. And then I saw where you were doing something at um, at the park yeah. one evening. Yeah. And yeah. I decided to go. Yeah. And it was just, you know, yeah, it was just amazing. So it yeah. really started from there in okay. January. Okay. Okay. So Charlene did really good. Tell mm -hmm. them about your fasting. 
Um, I did really, really well, good. Well, first of all, had you ever fasted before? No, no, I'd never fasted at all. Um, not the correct way. Yeah. Not the correct way. And then, um, then I started looking into it more and, mm -hmm. and listening and mm -hmm. just reading more up on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, So, how do you do that? How? Well, I, you know, I, there are several different ones that you can do, several different fasts that mm -hmm. you can do. And I decided, well, just go big or go home. So, I'm going to try the 36-hour fast. So what I do is, um, or what I did, <laughs> um, is stay I, for the end of the story. <laughs> what I did is I would start, um, one evening about six o'clock and I would eat my last meal about five thirty or six o'clock. And then I would just drink water for the rest of that night before bed, sleep all that night, get up the next morning and I would have a cup of broth for breakfast and I would drink water all during the day, have a cup of broth for lunch, drink water all during the day, have a cup of, cup of broth for supper, drink water all that night, mm -hmm. and then I would sleep that last part, and then I would get up the next morning, and there's, your there's my 36 hours right there. Yeah. So if you wanna do a 36, start one evening, go all the way the next day, mm -hmm. sleep that night, and by the next morning, your time's up. There you go. You know, because I, oh, you'll have to help me, Nancy. When, does your body start consuming its own fat after it what starts hour? at well it can you can get into autophagy that's what she's talking about because i would tell my clients when they would say hey, but i'm hungry i'm like well reach down and grab that around the middle and that's your next meal mm -hmm. because you've been storing it for years just like a bear stores so about 14 to 20 hours you know but here's here's what i want you to hear if you've never fasted you're not hungry so it's not like you're ravenous and just ill and irritable and all of that because I know I'd fasted in the past and all I could think about when I would think about fasting was a headache. You know, I'd get a headache. But but you have to get fat adaptive first. So mm -hmm. I want to let you know you can't just jump in there and start yeah. fasting. Yeah. You have to get fat adaptive and your body has to make that switch and that's kind of what I teach you at the beginning of the program. But um, Charlene did a lot of fasting and, and did really good. Okay, so now, now fast forward to yesterday. <laughs> when I texted her and said, I want you to come do uh, an interview with me because you've done so well. And she said, I, I wanted I, to cry. I know, because she fell off the wagon. So we're being real good honest with you here. And so when she got here, I knew I hadn't seen her in the in the app and I hadn't seen her posting. And, and she's like, I gave, when she told me why, it was all the excuses, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know, my grandma always says, any excuse will do if you're looking for one. But she had already prayed and, and knew that she was gonna start back mm -hmm. with her fasting and back on the program and, and getting back. So it's not that you didn't know what to do. Right. You weren't confused. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, sometimes we can't do what we know we should and we need support. And that's why we're here and that's why Charlene is going to move mm -hmm. forward. She didn't gain back all the weight she mm -hmm. had lost. She did gain back some of it, but she knows what to do. And that's what so many of my clients would tell you. It's, it's just clear. It's, there's no guesswork to it or mm -hmm. am I doing the right thing? Or I mean, it's, 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 it's really, uh, it's not complicated. It's hard because it's a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. But it's it's getting in your head that fuel food is fuel and that healthy and feeling good. So how did you feel when you were doing those fasts? Did you feel uh, sluggish or did you know you it's crazy because all my life I've heard you better not skip a meal because you're gonna get a headache, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. And it was completely the opposite. I mean the more I would fast, the more water I would drink. And I was surprisingly I was surprised at how much energy I had. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas I would, I used to like to take daily naps. I don't want to take my daily naps now. I want to keep going. I want to get my ten thousand steps in right, a day. There you go. Or I did. But, yeah. 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 But, um, but the last few days I've gotten my ten thousand steps you go. in. Okay. So, so you were talking about another thing. Your prep. Tell about that because I think, okay. you know, if prep is important, you got to be ready and willing to have good food available and and prep now that doesn't mean you can't eat out but you definitely are going to want to have good food available and that's one good thing about the program you end up saving money because you're not eating out mm -hmm. because you don't want that food because it's not healthy right. you know so go ahead and tell about that well for me um i was telling nancy that i had ordered a couple of really good salad containers from mm -hmm. tupperware 
and uh, I would go to the grocery store and I would get the things to make a salad, but you can't just make one salad if you're home alone by yourself. <laughs> right. So I will have my little containers lined up along the kitchen counter and I will go ahead and make four or five salads at the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I've got my egg slicer things, you know, I just make everything right then mm -hmm. so that when it's, when it is time for a meal, all I have to do is reach in the refrigerator and grab that salad. Yeah, good idea. So here's what I say. If, if you have it, you'll eat it. If you don't have it, you won't eat it. And that's good food or bad food. And we don't really call food good and bad. We call it optimal or non-optimal. But if you have optimal food, then that's what you'll eat. But if you have non-optimal food, you'll eat, you'll eat that as well. So I encourage you at the beginning, that's part of the, the prep week, is that you uh, get, you got you got to purge your pantry. And that's hard for people that have children, but it can be done. You can, you can do it. I mean, I've got a couple of girls now that have uh, children at home and they're, they're doing really good because, uh, well, I think because of the support and the community and just because it's, it's an easy plan. Yeah. And, and it's not, you know, people that if you're not clear, you don't move forward. Okay. But once you get clear, like Charlene is clear again, <laughs> she's got a new reset about what she wants and she's gonna, she's clear so she can make a step forward. And you know, what gets rid of fear is massive action taking massive mm -hmm. action. So Charlene's about to take some massive action here, get back on track and um, she's gonna, she's gonna bust a gut. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Find me on YouTube at Dr. Nancy Stanley or visit the website www.drnancystanley.com and I do a little devotional every morning about 7.30. Charlene mm -hmm. jumps on oh, there. She, she's my scribe. She puts in the, the, the um, scriptures or comments. And then at night at 7, I do a little 20-minute workout. I do it most every night. Now, I'm fixing to go on vacation, so I may just pull up some old ones and post mm -hmm. them. But it's always there. You can watch the replay if you can't do it at 7. It's about 20 minutes. It's not a hard workout, but it's a total body workout. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a physical therapist, so I've designed these exercises to help people that just want to stay flexible, get a little stronger or keep, you know, stay strong, but not wear themselves out because it's stressful to do hard, hard exercises, especially at my age, at 63, I don't want to wake up in the morning saying, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? You know, <laughs> what did I pull or hurt or whatever? But I do want to stay in shape and I want to stay fit just like I think you do. Okay. So hit the, uh, comment if this resonated with you, uh, and hit the love button or the like button and join me. I'm going to be doing, I think one more interview this week. I'm just, I'm just trying to get people on here that have had an experience so you can kind of relate to it. So if you related to this, hit the love button. Thank you, Charlene. Did Thank we you. miss anything? Mm -hmm, but look, there's Renee Flowers. I know, I see mm -hmm. her. She helped me so many times. Oh, that's right. When yeah. Renee was with us. All right. So yeah, a lot. See a lot. No of people. snicker bars, Renee. I cannot have snicker bars or cokes. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, you know, cokes. Gosh, it's just liquid sugar, and, and I just think about how many people are so addicted, but I've got a lot of clients that that was, I think that was one reason why they never did hit the button and call me, or mm -hmm. is because they thought, oh, I can't give them up, but now that they've given them up, they're like, I'm good without yeah, them. Yeah, I just. Were you doing the Cokes? Oh was my goodness, I'm so oh embarrassed to say how many I drank in a day. Really? I mean, it was it was terrible. You probably paid for the program with the number I did. of Cokes you got. I'm sure I did. In. Yeah, I, I put Robert Toombs in business with their Coke sales every spring and yeah. Um, yeah, but no more. Yeah. I, t I told my husband he was drinking uh, Diet Sprite. I said, when he quit, I'm like, the company's probably wondering <laughs> what happened down there in South Georgia. <laughs> I've drank so many Diet Sprites. Yeah, okay. Well, I love you, Charlene. I, I appreciate you. you sharing. And um, yeah, so let us know. Let me know if I can help you. We'll talk soon. Have a great day.